We up at 5.30, gotta be on the court at least 15 minutes early, but we were here 30 minutes so from 6, and then, you know, get some warm up shots in, and then we go ahead and get this workout in. You see, we drenched in sweat, so yeah, we trying to turn this thing around this year, man. What uh, What's the hardest part about being a student athlete? Um, balance and time management. Um, finding a way to, you know, um, do your best in both, you know what I mean? Manage, you know, little increment time that, you know what I'm saying, you think that you have off, but you really gotta find something to do in those little spare time, so that's the hardest thing about being a student athlete if you wanna perform at your high school. How long do you have to do this for? Seven minutes. And then, and then I go over there and I spin, and then after that I stretch. <laughs> Normally this is not the most fun part of my day. It's like, it's like, probably the most fun part is practice. I wake up at 6 in the morning to get ready for conditioning, which is at 6.45. We have to be there 15 minutes early. It's a team rule, so we have actually have to be there at 6.30. Then we have conditioning, but then on that day, I have to leave conditioning a little bit early to get to a 7.30 class. And then from there, I have class from 7.30 all the way until 12.15. Go home, grab a quick lunch. Then I have to head to treatment because I have a shin splints injury. I'm there for an hour, then head to practice at 3 o'clock. We have practice from 3 till like 4.45. Then we head over to the weight room for lifting from 4.45 till 5.30, and then film from 5.30 to 6. And then after that, I go home, eat a dinner. I don't even get a chance to shower, and I have to head over to study tables um, because I have to get my homework done sometime. And I can't waste time on showering till later at night. And then on Tuesday nights, I also have this uh, organization I go to. It's called AIA. It's all about um, student athletes bonding over their faith with Jesus Christ and um, that goes till about 10 and then I'm home I get to shower I usually get to bed by 11 so we don't get all the sleep that we probably need but I still have fun with my busiest day I'd rather be busy than have nothing to do put in three hours of study I gotta go to class I gotta come back talk to John it's all good though, it's worth it. Why are you rehabbing? I tore my labrum and my rotator. And how long are you going to be out for? 16 months. Normally I do it with my trainer, but he's got two sports. Volleyball is in season right now. So I probably meet with him two or three times a week. The other two days, I come in here and do it on my own. Used to be able to do a lot more than that, but since I've been hurt, I just start all over again. About a month ago, I couldn't even do 10 pounds. A lot of people think we have it easy, and they just don't understand everything we have to do on a daily basis. This morning, I woke up at 7 o'clock, made breakfast, had class at 8, had class all the way to 12, 15. And I had a meeting with my SAS advisor. And then I, I have practice during this time, right about now. And then after practice, I'll probably go get in a shower and then come back to my SAS office, the Jordan Center, study a little bit, and then have lunch in between there. And then go home, go to get some dinner, go to bed probably around nine o'clock. Um, I know we're only two weeks in, but I want an idea of what uh, 
what your classes are looking like, if you need any tutoring, um, things like that. Yeah. Thank you very much for dealing with student athletes. I know we can be difficult with all our traveling and missing class and um, all the other commitments that we have, but we wouldn't be able to manage it if the faculty at NIU wasn't so uh, accommodating. So thank you. Just want to say thank you very much for all that you do for our student athletes to help them achieve the, the biggest goal for them is getting their degree. Um, I know that there's a lot of work and effort that goes into it, not only having been here at Northern for 10 years, but I was also an assistant professor at a previous school I was at. So once again, thank you very much. Keep up the great work and our kids do appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you guys for everything you do. You make it a lot easier on us. I know we give you guys some, some gray hairs every once in a while, but you guys aren't going unnoticed, we appreciate it. Hey guys, my name is Eric Leslie. I am the head men's soccer coach here at NIU and just wanted to uh, take a second to thank you uh, as a faculty member for all that you do for our student athletes. Uh, I know that our student athletes are very, very busy people. You put them under a lot of stress and strain and it's, it's not easy to, to juggle the academic and athletic load that, 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 that we expect of them. Uh, so I just wanted to thank you guys for your constant support of our student athletes and our athletics department and, and just let you know how much we really appreciate all the work that you guys put into giving our student athletes uh, the best experience possible.